and then we'll take a peek at the workout. What do we got here? Lots of stuff up here. All right, guys, so the workout today is Soul Cycle, and Soul Cycle is three five minute AMRAPs. So, three rounds, each round is a five minute AMRAP, or as many rounds and reps as possible in those five minutes. Um, we're going to start with some burpees, lateral burpees over your barbell or object. We're going to do some power cleans, whether we're doing dumbbell or barbell. We're going to do some assault bike calories, or some running, or some mountain climbers. Uh, rest for five minutes, get a score. We're looking to get one plus round, uh, and then we'll go back. We'll do it again with either a lighter weight on the barbell or a few less reps in the dumbbell power cleans or odd object cleans. Um, the same reps for the burpees and the assault bike or running. Rest five minutes. Go back after it again. Five minute AMRAP. Another 15 bel uh, burpees, lateral burpees to start it off. A lighter power clean weight or fewer reps if we're doing dumbbell or odd object. And then the same amount of calories on the assault bike or for the run, or for the mountain climbers. Cool, so I'll give you a couple seconds to take a peek at that. If you're doing the dumbbell, take note of the reps. They drop every round. Um, if you're doing a barbell, and you have the ability to drop the weight, the reps stay the same. If you don't have the ability to drop the weight, then what we can do is drop the reps each round. Cool, has everyone got a peek at that? I can have a look at everybody here. Everybody good, everybody good. Sorry, I drifted out there for a second. You said if we're having dumb, if we have the weights for dumbbells, reduce the weight, if we have that? Yeah, if you wanna do that, you can keep the dumbbell power cleans at the same number of reps. Or if you've got one weight for your dumbbell and wanna stick with that, you're reducing the reps. If you take a look at the screen, we're going 30 in the first round, 24 in the second round, 20 in the third round. Okay. Cool? Cool. Just because our goal here is to beat uh, beat our score each round, get a few more reps each round. Um, so dropping the reps will give us a little chance to do that if we don't have the ability to drop the weight in the power clean. Good, good, good. So Generally, what we have seen is uh, a run to 400 meters is 100 mountain climbers. 800 meters is 200 mountain climbers. So yeah, we're going to go, I think 200 should be around that one and a half, two minutes. Whatever, whatever number is going to take you around one and a half Okay. Cool. Okay. So whatever that number is, if it's 100 for you, then we can do 100. Um, but whatever, it'll take a minute and a half to two minutes. Good. I'm going to go through all the movements now, guys. Uh, I'll stop the share. We can always get back to questions right before that when we go through the progressions. Let's take a peek. Okay, guys. So um, lateral burpee over your object. So I'll just go through that. So I've got my object. I've got my dumbbell here. I'm going to drop down to the ground, chest to the ground. Jump up, jump over my object, jump over the object, right? So you don't have to stand all the way up in between reps. You can stay nice and, nice and low. I always think about dragging my knuckles like an ape. That helps me stay low. Um, and then we're going into 21 power cleans with a barbell. My barbell disappeared. Oh, there it is. Uh, 21 power cleans. So starting from the ground, right? We're going to get it. We're going to jump it up. Back to the ground, each rep. If we're doing dumbbell. We're alternating each rep. So from the ground, jump it up. Ground, jump it up. All right, if we're using an odd object, same thing. Whatever our object, object is, from the ground, we'll jump it up, catch it in that front rack, back to the ground, jump it up. And then lastly, we can do either our assault bike calories, we can do our running, or we can do mountain climbers, right? So mountain climbers in our plank position, knees up to the chest. Cool, any questions about any of those movements, objects? No? Okay, for the running too, you can do a 400 meter run or you can do 28 shuttle runs. Okay, 400 meter run or 28 shuttle runs. I kind of like the shuttle runs better if you have that option guys, because that way you don't get trapped 300 meters into a 400 meter run. I call time, you have no, no idea. You finish off your 400 meter run, Come all the way back right so if you have the option for shuttle runs 10 meter shuttle runs i like that one too cool questions comments concerns nope we good we good all right cool let's talk about some announcements guys so uh friday may the first at 7 p.m 
we are doing a paint night. So um, I shared it up on the interwebs. It, we're going to have our art instructor lead you through draw, painting your own masterpiece. You can pick up your supplies here outside the gym. We've got uh, canvas and paints and brushes, uh, $20 for that. And then at 7 p.m., they'll lead you through the masterpiece. Let me share the picture with you guys because I think it's pretty darn cool. And you can make it your own and make it look any way you want. But let me show you this. Tell me this is not beautiful. Oh, what? Ambassador Bridge with a little crazy looking moon? What is that? That's gorgeous. Who doesn't want that on their wall? And if you really don't want the all levels logo there, you can just pull those, those couple of chevrons off your moon and seven moons. Um, and then Saturday, May the 2nd at 7 p.m., we're having another trivia night. It was a lot of fun. We had 40 people last time. Upgraded the internet connection. Uh, please try to sign up for that if you can so I know who's coming in advance. I can build out those breakout rooms um, and have an idea of how many people are going to show up. Uh, this Saturday, we're starting our handstand or handstand class with Coach Carrie. So she's going to teach a handstand class Saturday at 10 a.m. every Saturday for about the next eight weeks, uh, going through handstand progressions, handstand walking, how to get upside down. Uh, if you've ever seen her walk on her hands, it's pretty impressive. So she's going to try to impart some of that knowledge on you guys. And then we also have a new lifestyle and nutrition challenge coming up uh, May 11th, uh, put together by our very own Ivy, who's very passionate about nutrition. Um, and it's more of a, a habit building where she's going to go through, you know, how to grocery shop, the rule of three, how to portion out using your hands, um, things that can be useful in everyday life rather than just giving you a macro prescription and saying, go and track your macros. She's going to show you how to build good, good habits with nutrition, um, how to grocery shop, uh, there's some mindset stuff, some journaling stuff too. So that will happen May 11th. Should be pretty fun. Okay. Any questions about the announcement? I know there's a lot of announcements. No. Uh, 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 the handstand class of when is that? Uh, what time? Uh, Saturday at 10 a.m. Saturday Thank at 10 a.m. You. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, mindset guys from Bruce Lee, famous martial artist Bruce Lee. Uh, he says, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. So we've all heard about the 10,000 hour rule to become a master of something. You got to put in 10,000 hours. It's an arbitrary number, but about that of dedicated practice. So, you know, if you want to get better at double unders, you got to practice double unders. If you want to get better at cleans, you got to practice cleans. but you can also take that and you can um, build it out to characteristics and values. So you want to be more patient. You got to practice patient and be dedicated to practicing patience. You want to be kind, more kind, you got to be practice at kindness. You've got to practice that stuff. So um, it's all about putting the reps in, putting the dedicated practice in. So if you want to get better at something, whether it be a skill in the gym or it be a skill outside of the gym, practice. Practice and make mindful time for that practice. All right. Question of the day, guys. Um, what smell brings back great memories? We've had some fun answers in there already. Gas for snowmobiles. Gas for just gas. Uh, so some good ones. Get in there and answer that. It's the questions I never expect that get the best answers. So get into the Instagrams, Instagrams, the Instawebs, the Facebooks. I don't know. Get out there and answer those questions. All right. Questions. Any questions? You're done with John talking for 20 minutes. All right. Let's get into our warm-up then, guys. So we're going to start with our active Samson stretch. 30 seconds of our active Samson. Here we go. Three, two, three. One and go. Let's get that good deep lunge. Keep the back knee off the ground. Push your head through your shoulders. We're trying to stretch out that back hip flexor, the trailing leg. Keep the back knee off the ground to keep it active. Push your head through your shoulders. There we go, about 10 seconds to go. Alternate sides whenever you feel like it, guys. Five seconds. There we go. And then we're going into glute bridges. So on your back, let's get those feet about shoulder width apart. Dig the heels into the ground, hands on the, on the floor, and we're going to drive our hips up. Hold for a second and back down. Drive our hips up. Hold for a second and back down. Let's work on driving knees out. Pushing hips to the sky. Pushing those shoulders into the mat. Really good warm up for your glutes and your hams. Get a little, little lower back in there too. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, and we're gonna go lateral hops now, guys. So 
anything on the ground. Doesn't have to be an object. We're just going to go jump side to side. Here we go. And side to side. Just warming up our calves, warming up our Achilles. Getting a nice ri rhythm. We're skiing down some moguls. Hitting those moguls. There we go. Ten seconds to go here, guys. Ten seconds. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> and good. All right, guys. If you have a machine, get on your machine for some calories now. If not, we're going high knees. High knees. If you have a machine, jump on your machine. If not, let's go high knees, guys. High knees. There we go. Get those knees up. Beautiful. There we are, very nice. And we got about 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left of the high knees of the machine. Just an easy pace on your machine, guys. All right, we're going active Spider-Man now. Active Spider-Man to get into that deep lunge. Get the back knee up the ground. Get your elbow or wrist or forearm to the ground. Open up in that sun salutation. Back down to the ground. Let's get two or three on one side. And then same on the other. We'll switch sides there. Switch sides now. Go to the other side. Keep the knee off the ground. Give yourself a target on the floor. Open on up. There we go. Good. And then from there, guys, we're going to single leg glute bridges. So stay down there. We're going to alternate each rep. So one leg pointing to the ceiling. And then we're going to press up in our glute bridge. Switch sides. Push up in that glute bridge. Switch sides. Keep alternating reps for that whole 30 seconds. Again, try to dig those heels in. Dig that heel in. 10 seconds to go, five seconds, three, two, one. All right, guys, now we're going frog hop. So from that plank position, we're gonna jump our feet up to our hands, try to get those feet flat by your hands, chest up, frog hop. We're doing 30 seconds of frog hop. Beautiful, nice work, guys. Try to keep your feet wide, Pete, not so narrow. Yeah, jump them maybe outside your hands. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. And then we're getting five seconds, guys. We're gonna get back on our machine. If we don't have a machine, we're going butt kicks. So we're gonna have our knees pointing straight down. We're gonna bring those heels to our bum. Get a nice little lean going. And go. There you go, butt kicks. Try to point your knees to the ground. There we go. Frankie and Ollie, let's do some bum kicks. Kick your bum. There we go, guys, nice. Beautiful. About five seconds left here, guys. All right, three, two, one. We're going to push up to down dog. So we're going to hit that nice push up, chest to the deck. Push our head through our shoulders into that down dog position. Try to get your heels to the ground. Push up. Back into that down dog. Hips to the sky, heels to the ground. Head through shoulders. There we go. 30 seconds of our push up to down dog. Beautiful. Very nice, guys. About five seconds left here. And then we're going to stay down there. Three, two, one. We're going glute bridge walkout. So we're going to push our hips up. We're going to walk our feet out four steps. And then walk our feet back four steps. Keeping the hips off the ground. Think about stretching those legs right out, but keeping hips off and glutes off the ground. Walking back in. Walking them out. 
and back in. About 15 seconds to go here. Beautiful. Try to keep your, your feet about shoulder width apart. All right, guys, we're gonna go kick back. So we're gonna start from standing. We're gonna drop into a plank, jump our feet back up, stand up. Drop into a plank, jump your feet, stand up. So kind of the top, the first portion of the burpee. Very good, there you go, nice. Excellent, guys. Looking snappy today, 5.30 crew. I don't get to see the 5.30 crew that often. Now I get to see what I'm missing. Beautiful, five seconds, three, two, one. And we're back on our machine for the last time. If we're not a machine, we're going to our trusty jumping jack or star jump, the old jumping jack. Try to go forward and backwards while you're doing it. Forward and backwards, side to side, here you go. There we go. Looking good, guys. Ooh. Don't get the kids caught in the gears. <laughs> there we go. Nice, guys. Keep that good posture on your machines. Nice tall chest. You got about five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job, guys. Let's grab our dumbbell or barbell or odd object. And we're gonna go through a little warm up with our dumbbell or barbell or odd object. So if you've got a dumbbell or a barbell, we're gonna start with it up on our back. Right, if you've got an odd object, same thing. We'll put it up on our back here. And we're gonna start with five good mornings. So slight bend your knees, feet about hip width apart. Right, we're gonna hinge at the waist, pushing those hips back. Keeping a nice flat back, we're gonna do five good mornings. There we go. Five good mornings, beautiful. Once you got your five good mornings in guys, we're gonna to go to five back squats. So holding that dumbbell or barbell, or odd object in your back, squatting down, pushing the knees out, keeping those heels down. Five. Back squats. There we go. And then we're gonna bring our object into the front rack and we're gonna do five strict press and reach. Five strict press and reach. Squeezing our BBQ, our butt, belly, and quads. There we go. And then from there, guys, we're gonna grab that Object, bring it in front of us, do five Romanian deadlifts. All right, so same thing, we're trying to keep our knees back, chest up. Five Romanian deadlifts, beautiful. And then we'll finish it off with five front squats. Object in your front rack, elbows nice and high. Five front squats. Beautiful. There we go. And then you can just set it down, guys. We're gonna jump into a little bit of mobility here and then we'll grab a drink after that. So we're just gonna do a little active mobility. We're gonna start with 10 seal rocks. So a seal rock looks like this. We're gonna be in our seal or up dog position. And then we're gonna push back into that child's pose. And then that's one. We're going to come back into the seal. Back into that child's pose. That's two. We're going to do 10 seal rocks. 10 seal rocks. Just starting in that up dog. Pushing back into that child's pose. 10 times for that sequence. That will be our active mobility with those seal rocks. There we go. Really look up to the ceiling. All right, really push your bum back to your hips. Very nice, guys. All 
right. When you're done, those Seal Rocks guys, grab yourself a quick drink, and then we'll prep up our movements for the workout. We'll prep up all those movements for the workout. Got a 25 minute workout today, 15 minutes of work, 10 minutes of rest, guys. So we want to go hard in those intervals. Beautiful. John, um, I won't be able to do the lateral burpees, but I can do a full burpee. Yeah, that's perfect. Same thing. We'll do the same number instead of the jump. That's perfect. Because um, my, my uh, calf gets tight. I mean, if I'm doing those ape, jumpers, okay. ape jumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no worries. That's all right. They'll take a little bit long. They'll actually probably take a little bit longer for the full, full burpee, but that's fine. Okay, cool? thank you. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's get into our movement. So we're going to start with prepping up, prepping up our burpees. Dougie, you there? Good? All right. 28, uh, 28 shuttle runs? Yeah, 28 10-meter shuttle runs. It said 27 in the, in the notes, but if you do 27, then you end up 10 meters away from your dumbbell, so yeah. 28. Trust me, I know. I did it. <laughs> All right. What we're going to do, guys, we're going to prep up that burpee. So what I want you to do is grab your object with that dumbbell, barbell, odd object, and we're just going to do 10 lateral hops over our, over our object. What I want you guys to do is think about kind of kicking your heels to your bum. I'm going to ask you to donkey kick now. Stay low. And I want you to lean into the way you're going, right? So if I'm going over it left, I'm going to lean in, right? Lean in. Because when I get out of my, my burpee, I want to lean the way I'm going. So let's get 10 lateral hops over your object, guys. 10 lateral hops over your object. Whenever you're ready, there you go. There we go. Lean the direction you're going. Very nice. Good. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do five burpees beside our object, not jumping over it yet, but I want you to kind of get a feel for where you're going to land. If you're using the dumbbell, remember, if we keep that dumbbell in between our foot, right, so mid of our foot, we'll end up with our hips when we land and we'll be jumping over the dumbbell rather than beside it. So let's get five burpees over your object, guys. Five burpees over, All right? Get a feel for that, five burpees. Oops, over your object. Yeah, five burpees over your object. Here we go. Beautiful. Five burpees over your children. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, guys, if you have a machine, if you have a machine that you're going to do calories on, we're going to do 20 seconds easy, 20 seconds moderate, 20 seconds hard. By that last 20 seconds, you should be at your, your um, RPMs or calories per hour that you want to keep. If we're doing mountain climbers, guys, we're going to do 20 seconds easy, 20 seconds moderate, 20 seconds hard. If we're running, we're going to do a, either 10 shuttle runs or a 100-meter run. A lot there, so whatever you're doing. If you're doing mountain climbers, we're going to do basically 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. If you're running either 100 meters or 10 shuttle runs, a salt bike will do the 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off as well. Cool? All right. Here we go, guys. We're going three 20-second intervals, unless we're not. We're doing shuttle runs. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Go and go. There we go. Very nice, just a nice easy start, guys, easy to start. We're gonna ramp up the intensity every 20 second interval. We're about halfway through, we got about five seconds to go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, rest, 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 rest. And we're gonna go again in for another 20 seconds in three, two, one, and go, 20 seconds. There we go. Nice work, guys. Picking up the intensity a little bit. About five seconds to go here. Five seconds to go. 
All right, we're going to go on our last 20-second interval now, guys. Last 20 seconds. This should be at your race pace, whether you're on the machine or you're doing your mountain climbers. 20 seconds at your race pace and go. Here we go. Nice, guys. Nice job. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job, guys. All right. What we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to prep up our power clean. Prep up that power clean. So grab your dumbbell or grab your barbell or grab your odd object. We're going to start off prepping that up. Okay, so if you've got barbell or dumbbell or odd object, we're going to start with 10 deadlifts, just 10 regular deadlifts. If you've got your barbell, remember to hook it, lock in that hook grip. Just 10 regular deadlifts, guys, with the dumbbell. Let's go five alternating, five per side. 10 kettlebell deadlifts, Johnny, there you go. Five per side, beautiful. Come up, squeeze your bum at the top, stand up nice and tall. There you go. Perfect, and we've got 10, you can just set it down, guys. And then we're gonna to go to the hang position and we're gonna do six hang power cleans. So we're gonna pull that into your hips, jump up, nice fast elbows in that catch. All right, so we're gonna go six hang power cleans or three per side alternating dumbbell cleans from that hang, All right? There you go, guys. So six total, go ahead, guys. Six hang power cleans with the odd object, jump it up, there you go. Really want you to push your hips back in that catch. Everyone focus on sending your butt back when you catch it instead of pushing those hips forward. We want to send those hips back. Nice, Johnny. Nice cleans. There we go. All right. The last one we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do six power cleans or six alternating or six from the ground. We're going to jump it up, catching that quarter squat. Jump it up, catching that quarter squat. Let's get fast turn over with the elbows. Jump that weight up. Let's go six full power cleans. There we go. Beautiful. Nice fast elbows, Kristen. Good job. There we go. All right, guys, when you're done, here's what's going to happen is those who have a barbell, I'm going to give you three minutes to work up to your, your heaviest weight you're going to use in the workout. So if you have a barbell, three minutes to work up to your heaviest weight. If you are using a dumbbell or a, an odd object or kettlebell, we're gonna do a little three minute EMOM here to keep moving. We're gonna do 10 cleans every minute on the minute for three minutes. So five per side, we'll alternate each rep with a dumbbell. If you've got an odd object, we'll just do 10 regular cleans, okay? So every minute on the minute for three minutes, we're gonna do 10 cleans. Here we go, guys. If you got your barbell, Let's work up to our heaviest one. You got three minutes. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. 10 cleans. There we go. Very nice. Way to use those hips, guys. Jump it on up. Nice. Push the hips back in the catch. Beautiful. Good. And once you get your tents, you can just put it down and then we'll chill out for a sec. Good. All right. We got about 30 seconds. So we're back on it. PD, really sit down, sit down in that catch, push those hips back. All right. About 20 seconds, guys, 20 seconds to go. Ooh, that's a big kettlebell. It's a big kettlebell for a little guy. Things bigger than your head. All right, we got three seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Ten more. There we go. There we go. Really push the hips back in the catch, guys. Think about sitting in a chair. Every time you catch, catch that, think about sitting in that chair. All right, 30 seconds, and we're on our last round. Last round for the EMOM. You 
You got about a minute and a half to work up to your heaviest weight on that barbell, guys. 15 seconds. Ten seconds to go. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Ten cleans. She got the barbell. Let's work up to that heavyweight. Nice, Johnny. There we go. Jump it on up. That's right. Use those hips. Perfect. All right, guys, those are the barbell. We got about 30 seconds to get to our starting weight. And then we're gonna do a practice round here, guys. Practice round. So practice round is gonna be this. We're gonna do five burpees over our object. We're gonna do five power cleans or 10 dumbbell cleans. And then we're gonna do five cows on a machine or 20 mountain climbers or 10 shuttle runs or a 100 meter run. Five burpees, five power cleans, five cows, or five burpees, five power cleans, 20 mountain climbers, 100 meter run, or 10 shuttle runs. Cool, I know there's a lot there. Everyone good with their practice round? All right, let's get ready to roll with the practice round, then we'll grab a drink, we'll hit the bathroom, and we'll get started with Soul Cycle. Soul Cycle. All right, Dougie Fresh. Here we go. We're going to start with five burpees over our object, into our power cleans, and then into our monostructural. Five, four, three, two, one, go. There we go. Beautiful. Stay nice and low, guys. Drag those knuckles. You don't need to stand up. Perfect. Nice job. Very nice job. Five power cleans now. There we go. Beautiful. Nice job. Jump it up. Yep. Get to that full extension. Good. Fast elbows. And then we're going to go five cows on our machine, 10 shuttle runs or a 100 meter run or 20 mountain climbers. Great job, guys. When you're done, grab yourself a quick drink. Got time to change if you want, Kristen. There's 21 in that first round, it's a lot. There you go. Okay guys, when you're done that practice round, if you wanna grab a drink, hit the bathroom, uh, get something to write down your scores. I will ask you your score after each round. There are lots of rounds, lots of rest in between rounds. Hey John, are you expecting that the people are gonna do the 21 unbroken? Oh no, definitely not unbroken. Um, something in maybe like sets of three to five, right? Probably not singles for this one because it might take you a while and we want you to get through that run and maybe maybe get a chance back at the burpees. Okay, I'll cool. try it. All right, do what you can do. All right, guys. Any questions before we get rocking and rolling here, guys? Good, everyone good? So the goal is to get one round plus each one. One round plus. All right. Doug's calling a friend. He says, what sh how should I attack these cleans? I'm not sure. All right. Let's get ready to roll here, guys. So we're starting five minute AMRAP, 15 lateral burpees over your object, 21 power cleans or 30 dumbbell cleans. And then we're going 27 or 21 assault bike calories, 400 meter run or 200 mountain climbers. Uh. Sorry, for odd object, uh, power cleans are 30 in first round or 21? We'll go 30 and then 24 in the second round and 20 in the last one. Okay. Cool? All right. 
Here we go, guys. Starting with those burpees. Let's set a nice steady pace in the burpees. And then get to those power cleans. Move with intent. We want to get through that last piece and get at least one round here or try to get one round. All right. I don't see Pete. I'm going to wait for Pete here. Pete's here. There he is. All right, guys. Let's get started with Soul Cycle. We've got a five second countdown, and then we're starting with 15 lateral burpees. Here we go, guys. Round number one. Five, four, three, two, one. Yo, here we go. Nice. Stay nice and low on those burpees, guys. Drag those knuckles. Beautiful. Nice job, guys. Way to get up and over. Perfect. Nice, guys. Set a nice pace. Breathe. Exhale when you hit the deck. Get up and over. Nice, Johnny. Way to stay low, guys. Way to stay low. 30 seconds in. 30 seconds in. Let's grind through them. Get to those power cleans. Move with a purpose here. Good job, Joe. There we go. 45 seconds on the clock. We've got five-minute rounds here. Perfect. Coming up on a minute here. Coming up on one minute. Beautiful. Way to jump it up. Use those hips. There we go. Get that big pull, full extension. Big, full extension. Here we go. Grind through it. Gut through it. Nice work, Dougie. There you go. There you go, Pete. Fast elbows. Good turnover here, guys. Great job, Anu. Great job, RJ. There we go. Beautiful. Just over a minute and a half in. Nice. Coming up on the two-minute mark, guys. Let's get under those cleans. There we go. Big jump, use those hips. Nice job, guys. Yeah, get underneath it, drop underneath it. Drop into that quarter squat. Get tall, get small, get tall, get small. There we go. Nice, coming up on the two and a half minute mark. We're almost halfway through the first round, guys. Lots of rest coming up. We've got five minutes of rest, work hard. Recover in that five minute window. Nice job guys, onto the mountain climbers, great work. Good job, 2.20 left guys. Just over two minutes. Stay steady on that machine, steady on those mountain climbers. Coming up on three. Three minutes gone, two minutes to go. Nice job, Joe. There you go, buddy. Right back into those burpees. Here we go. A minute 45 to go. Nice. Stay nice and tall on your machine, guys. Good posture. There we go. Awesome work, guys. Nice job, Kristen. Way to muscle it up. A minute and a half left. A minute and a half left. A minute 15. Big jump. There we go. Coming up on one minute to go. Here we go, Johnny. Back to those burpees. Beautiful. Stay nice and low. Stay nice and low. Let's go. Come on, Joe. Great job, buddy. Under a minute left. Under one minute left. There you go. Nice, Kristen. Way to get under it.
Beautiful. Thirty seconds to go, guys. Thirty seconds to go. Nice work. Big sprint to the end now. Sprint to the end. Fifteen seconds in. Fifteen seconds to go here. Ten seconds, guys. Nice job, Johnny. Get a couple reps in. Five, four, three. Two, one, time. Great job, guys. Take a second, collect yourselves. Let's get some scores here. We're gonna work in rounds and reps. Jody, what'd you get? One round, seven burpees. Good job. Colton Joe, what'd you get, buddy? Joe. One yes. plus 37. One plus 37, nice job. A new one, RJ, what'd you get? Who's close to the phone? <laughs> one round and 12 burpees. Nice. Anu, one round and 10 burpees. One plus 10, beautiful. Okay, uh, Johnny, what'd you get? One plus 18. One plus 18. Dougie Fresh. Dougie? One even. One even. Nice job, buddy. Uh, Kristen? I finished the cleans. Oh, good job. You got all 21. Very nice. This will kill me. Yeah, it looks heavy. Pete, what'd you get? One round even. One round even. One round even. Yeah, Beautiful. All right, 36. Nice job, guys. We got lots of time before that second round. We got about two and a half minutes. No, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes with that second round. Kristen, is that a giant tub of protein you've got there? <laughs> it's windy, so my mat keeps flying away, so it's heavy. There you go. It's heavy stuff. Got my protein yeah. out. Hold down my mat. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, three minutes to go. We're on round number two. Our goal is to beat the round we did the last round. Um, if we're doing the dumbbell, we're going to drop the reps a little bit. So we're going to go from 30 reps down to 24 reps. If we've got the option of dropping the weight on the barbell, let's drop the weight down. Keep everything else the same, everything else the same. I don't know if I showed you guys, I haven't seen the 530 class. There's a, Kirsten from Kinetic Connection got us a few of these flex bars, which really help with like forearm golfers, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow. You take it, you grab it, you twist it, and then you fight that negative. You can do over, under, uh, Right, so the flex bar, it works really well. It's cool. There's like four different strengths. Good for rehabbing or prehabbing those forearms. I like this one. It says it's good for fishermen, guitarists, athletes, all sorts of good stuff. So you can try one of these out if you want. We've got a few at the gym now. Theraband flex bar. I know for me, I always get that sore forearm from all the dumbbell stuff. I don't know how they invented it, what they used, what they used before this. I don't really want to know, I don't think. All right, minute and a half left, guys. And then we're back on round two. High intensity intervals here. Five minutes on, five minutes off. Looks so nice out. Man, I wish I was outside right now. Cut a hole in the roof here. It's gorgeous though. Yeah, I did I did my I did the workout out in the parking lot with the dumbbells and the shuttle runs and all that. It's good stuff, man. It was just nice. So nice when it's nice out. Gotta enjoy these days. All right guys, about forty five seconds left. 
We're on round number two. Find your rhythm on the burpees. Power through those cleans. Push hard on that machine or the run or the mountain climbers. Try to get back to those burpees. 25 seconds here, guys. 25 seconds to go. 15 seconds. Here we go. Five seconds now. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Round number two. Hit those burpees. Speedy, speedy. Here we go. Good hustle, Doug. Good hustle, brother. There you go. Way to stay low, Kristen. Nice job. Beautiful. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. Way to get up and over. Kick those feet to your heel or keep kick those heels to your bum. Stay nice and low. Great job, guys. Nice job, Joe. Way to jump it up. Nice work, guys. Get to work on those cleans. Let's lock in that hook grip if we've got the barbell. Here we go. Beautiful. There we go. Nice, Kristen. Way to cycle that barbell. Nice work. There you go, Dougie. Nice job. Keep that chest up. Get set for every rep, guys. Chest up. Shoulders higher than your hips. Use those hips to jump it on up. Nice work, Johnny. Coming up on the two-minute mark here, guys. Coming up on two minutes. There we go. Five seconds to go before we hit that two-minute mark. Three minutes to go in this round. Let's go, guys. Move with some purpose here. This is the rubber round. We'll get through this one. We'll be in the home stretch. Great job on those mountain climbers. Good, let's get those elbows up in that catch, guys. Fast turnover, fast elbows. There we go. Nice job, guys. About two minutes left in this round. Two minutes to go. Let's get to that run. Get through those calories. Get back to that bar. Push hard now. Push hard. There you go. Nice job, Kirsten. Way to jump it up. Way to cycle that barbell. Nice work. There we go. Time for a run. Nice job. A minute and a half left in this round, guys. A minute and a half to go. Here we go, guys. A minute 15. Keep driving. Keep driving through it. One minute to go, guys. One minute to go. Beautiful. Under a minute to go now. Under one minute.
Here we go. Coming up on 30 seconds, guys. Let's get through those cows. Get through that run. Nice job, Johnny. Way to stay low. 25 seconds to go. There you go, guys. Great job getting back to those burpees. 20 seconds to go. Nice job, Dougie. Way to get back there. Here we go, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time, 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 time. There we go. Nice job, guys. Great work. Great work. All right. I'll give yourself a second. I'm going to get some scores from you. Jolt and Joe, what'd you get, bud? One plus 39. One plus 39, nice, you beat it. Jody. One plus four. Perfect. RJ. One plus 14. One plus 14 and a new. One ten. One, ten. One plus 10, nice job. Dougie. One plus five. One plus five, Kristen. I think I probably missed about 100 meters. We'll call it 300 meters. Okay, perfect. Uh, Peter? One round. Peter? One round. Uh, Johnny P? One plus 21. One plus 21, great job guys. Last round, we'll drop the reps to our lowest reps for the, for the um, dumbbell power cleans or odd object power cleans to our lightest weight on the power cleans. Anu and RJ, I want you guys to come by and pick up some med balls. I want you to pick up, like, we've got 20 pound and 14 med balls. Come and get one. Yeah. Come so, uh, yep. on, on Saturday, uh, Anu came around and it was a little late by that time. Okay, well, if you get, get a chance, come by because I don't want to see you poking an eye out with one of those straps on your backpack there. Sure. So get, you come by and pick up a med ball or pick up a slam ball. We got some stuff here you can use. Sure, thank you. I appreciate John. Yeah, for sure, man. All right, guys. So we got about three minutes left. Lots of time to rest. Lots of time to rest. Try to come out to that trivia night. Kristen, you should get Erica. You and Erica should show up for trivia. It was a lot of fun last week. And we got a ringer. We're going to get Betsy, too. Oh, man. That is a ringer. I know. Except oh, for when it comes to sports. Yeah, well, I, there was, I spread out the categories pretty, pretty well. There was not really a lot of sports stuff there. There was a lot of, like, just general knowledge. It was fun. It was, uh, like I said, we had, like, 40 people. And then I don't know if you've used breakout rooms in Zoom before. No. So what happens is we have teams. We're organizing the teams. And then I ask you the question. And then you've got a private room that you guys disappear into. And no one can see you or hear you. You talk about your answer. And then mostly you just talk shit. Or talk crap. Yeah, we're, I'll just sign us up. But Betsy's in, Erica's in. That's awesome. That's so cool. Uh, I don't know if you know, guys, uh, I went to high school with Kristen and uh, Erica and Betsy. They're all in my high school. And uh, now Kristen's joining in with the classes and Erica joined in last week as well. Uh, Erica lives in Ottawa. Kristen's up and around Hamilton. So it's a lot of fun to have these people joining in from all over the great province of Ontario. All from the tiny little West Lorne. Dougie, you know where West Lorne is. I know you do. Yeah, I know where it is. Is that where you're from, John? I didn't know that. That's where I went to high school. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's Good. right. My mother. We got when I ever go to Toronto, I got to you know, I take my mother. We got to stop there because she's got to pee. <laughs> Back when we used to have like a donut shop there, I think I don't even know what's in there anymore. And Rodney, Betsy yes. and I from Rodney, not That's West. Right. Lorne. Rodney, the tri. We call it the Tri City area. Rod Rodney Dutton and West Lorne. Yeah. <laughs> It's just one big amalgamation of large cities, around 1,200 people each. How did you stay out of trouble in West Lorne? There's nothing to do there. Oh, man. There was, well, we didn't stay out of trouble. We did not stay out of trouble. You're right. It's, I think uh, when you've got nothing else to do, yeah, there's not much else to do. Sports. That's how we stayed out of trouble. Sports. My football coach was the vice principal, and you couldn't practice or play if you didn't show up for class. So I had perfect attendance. Only because I couldn't practice if I didn't show up. Did you have perfect awake, awake attendance? What's that? Awake attendance? Well, I was there. I was present. 
I was there in body for sure. All right, guys, 30 seconds. We're going to hit this last round. You good, Anu? I'll ask after the last round. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got 25 seconds left. All right. All right, 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. We're starting with 15 burpees. And then we're getting into our power cleans and then our assault bike or our run. Here we go, guys. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, go. Here we go, guys. 15 burpees. Let's hit a PD. Come on, bud. Let's get up and over there. Very nice. Great job, guys. Thirty seconds in. Let's push the pace on those burpees. Last round, nothing to hold back for, guys. Beautiful. Nice work, guys. Let's work hard. Last round. Nothing but rest after this one. Way to go, Joe. Way to get to that dumbbell. Nice work. One minute in, guys. Four to go. One minute in, four to go. There we go. Getting to that lighter barbell. Starting to really move it now. Nice job, Johnny. Way to move that kettlebell. Here we go, Doug. Your chest up. Get nice and set. A minute 30 in, guys. 3.30 to go. Nice job, Joe. On the run. Beautiful. There we go, Joe. Way to move that dumbbell. Nice work. There we go. Let's power through it now, guys. Power through it. Beautiful. Coming up on the halfway point of this last round. Nice, John. Way to keep the heels down, John. Good job. There we go. Good long strokes, nice work. There we go, Pete, two and a half minutes to go, guys. Two and a half minutes to go, we're halfway done. Halfway done the last round, last round. Nice work, Joe, there we go, bud. Here we go, two minutes to go now, guys. Two minutes to go, we're almost there, almost there. Two minutes to go, and then we're finished. Nice work, a minute 30 to go, a minute 30 to go. Push hard, guys. Last round. Time to empty the tank. Let's dig in. Dig in now. Turn that brain off and go. There we go, Johnny. Nice, Joe. Way to get back to that dumbbell. Good work, man. There we go. One minute to go. One minute to go. Nice job, Kristen, way to get right into it. Forty-five seconds, guys. Forty-five seconds and then we're home. Forty-five seconds and we're home. Nice job. Way to get up and over that 
odd object. There you go. Thirty seconds now. Thirty seconds to go. Let's have a big push for the end now. Sprint to the end. Here we go, Johnny. Fall down, get up. Here we go. There we go. Nice job, Dougie. Right into it. Fifteen seconds to go. Let's empty the tank now, guys. Give it all you got. Big push. Big push now. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Move that barbell. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Great job, guys. Last round. We're done and dusted. Beautiful. Great work. Here, I'm going to give everyone a virtual high five. Here we go. High five. I guess that's a clap. And you get a thumbs up, too. There we go. Joseph. I got one round plus 50 meters. Beautiful. Nice job, bud. Jody. One plus 13. One plus 13. Uh, RJ. Anu. Anu is one plus 10. Yeah. RJ is one plus 15. Beautiful. Dougie. One plus six. Nice, bud. Uh, Kristen. Uh, Kristen. One plus eighteen. One plus eighteen. One plus two. One plus two. One plus two. Uh, Johnny P. Uh, Johnny P. One plus one plus twenty. Nice. All right, guys. Great job today. All right, guys. Great job today. Um, I don't know how we're getting. That um, I don't know how we're getting that. It's like there's a parrot on my shoulder. All right. Uh, good job. Uh, sorry, Anu, did you have something you want to ask me? Yeah. Saturday when I came to pick up the med balls, the front door was closed. It was 11.48. I thought maybe I'm late. Uh, that's nope. why. Was... A.M.? 11.48 a.m.? Yeah. Yeah, no. So we've got the double glass doors, but beside that, there's a little uh, side door. Yeah. So just pull that open. Well, oh, someone, yeah. someone will be here. So Zach will definitely be here this Saturday. Um, if you want to come. Yeah, there uh, was a white truck. Yeah, that was me. I was here. I was here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you just come to the side door. I probably had the garage door closed. I try to open it now because it's nice and sunny. But, uh, but yeah, just come on in. Come to that side door. Knock on the side door. Give a bang. Because um, I have class from 11 till 12. And then it would uh, be done after that. Okay, one more question. Uh, yeah. Do you still have? Uh, you had a, a somebody, some consultant uh, coming over uh, to your facility for post-pregnancy or postpartum. She's right think. here, right here, Kristen, right here. So she okay. specializes in all that kind of stuff right there. Okay. So she, Kristen's a physiotherapist uh, who has her company called Blueberry. Blueberry okay. therapy. Blueberry did you, therapy. Did you pull the blueberry up and in, John, when you contract your pelvic floor? Oh, uh... Too much information for me, <laughs> but, but if you guys, uh, yeah, so I mean, um, I, can, I can connect you guys and then you can talk with, with Kristen and she does uh, remote consults and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, and then you guys can, can talk and anyone who's in, interested, John, I don't know, JP, if you're interested in any uh, postpartum work. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you got your dog, you're good. All right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we'll John? with that. I see men too. I know. I'm, not, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know anything about it. So. Uh, but yes, if anyone's interested in any of that kind of stuff, uh, as I said before, um, it's not just postpartum, it's, it's all that kind of stuff. So tell the floor help. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Connect me. Uh, Kristen, I will be reaching out to you yeah. soon. Make sure, Kristen. What's your what's the best email address to get you at? I'll just you can hit her. You can hit up and do it in the chat yeah, right now. Just use blueberrytherapy at gmail dot com. That's the easiest. All one word: blueberrytherapy okay. at gmail dot com. Okay. Thank you. Hey. Thank you, John. No problem. Uh, let me just make sure you get that. So, blueberrytherapy at gmail dot com. I think that's it. 
you should get that on the old chat there. Okay, guys, anyone got anything fun to say? Anyone want to stick around for a Ramwad? Ramwad and chill? Kind of late in the afternoon. Good. We're good? I'm good. Good. That means I'm going to go home. <laughs> all right. Well, great job today, guys. Um, lots of fun. We'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, have a great night. And uh, see you soon. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Great job, guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good Thanks, night. Johnny. Be good. Be good for your mom and dad. <laughs> Thank you. I, I've got two little girls. I know how they can be. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Bye bye. Have a good evening. You too. Bye.